The Mulligan Institute has a very proud track record in cancer immunotherapy. We've run a series of clinical trials of cellular vaccines for cancer, and we're very excited to be able to now develop that program and move forwards into this new CAR T cell technology. We take patients' own immune cells, we bring them into our special laboratories and modify them directly in the lab to redirect them against patients' own cancers. The Freemasons CAR T-cell research program has several arms to it. It has a clinical trial arm and some research arising from that. But also we'd like to take this technology and extend it, possibly to look at other types of cancer in the future and try and find new ways of adopting this treatment, making it available for more New Zealanders in the future. One in four New Zealand women will develop breast cancer over their lifetime. And people don't generally die from the initial tumour in their breast. But it's when the tumour has spread to the distant organ sites that we see patients dying. And this is because our current treatments are not effective. And so we see a real opportunity for vaccine therapies to have a, a role in this prevention and also elimination. And we want to understand if our vaccines, by activating the immune cells within the patients, can prevent the cancer from spreading or once the cancer has spread to these sites, the vaccines can then turn on the T cells to go to these organs and eliminate the tumour cells. Cancer immunotherapy is exciting because it's harnessing this very strong power of the immune system and directing it specifically towards our cancer cells. We're moving into this individualised therapy and it's possible that we will see cancer vaccines that are designed for with a specific patient in mind. We're moving in that direction very quickly. What we think will happen uh, in the very near future is people will start coming through with clinical data on combining immunotherapy at the same time as other conventional therapies. So for example, combining the immunotherapy with chemotherapy. So we're trying to actively translate our research. That means we're setting up clinical trials, we're developing the clinical systems and the safety protocols that mean we can deliver those types of treatments uh, for New Zealanders in the future, not just in our trials, but more routinely. And what I'd like to see is a future in which uh, some of the more toxic treatments that we're currently using are no longer part of the routine and hopefully we'll find a way that we can give directed, targeted treatments that are personalised to the individual and to their cancer that can eradicate that with fewer toxicities than with some of the treatments that we're using today.